everybody. Welcome back. Wednesday night edition as we're live and on the air. Our sponsor tonight is John Jones. John Jones Real Estate. Going to roll over to West Tennessee. Going to talk to a 1A coach. Uh, got in a battle, but he looks like he played pretty hard. He only uh, They only scored 21 points on him, but, but they're really good. And uh, uh, He's sitting at 1-3, uh, but that's head coach of the, the McEwen Warriors, head coach Rick Rice. How you doing tonight, coach? I'm good, Stork. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Well, it was a, a big crowd, I'm sure, at McEwen as McKenzie came in yes, and uh, and uh, 21 to nothing. But uh, take it away, Coach. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the atmosphere this past Friday night. Yeah, it was a pretty good atmosphere. We actually got beat 23 to nothing. Tw- okay, so, uh, I'm and, sorry. Uh, they should, well, they should have really. They should have only had maybe. 17 points but anyway they're they were a good football team but yeah the atmosphere was great and they had a huge crowd and uh you know anytime you got to defend the state champs rolling into town uh people's gonna kind of be curious how, see how you're going to compete and uh you know we competed we can compete it pretty good stork i was proud of our kids um uh, offensively we struggled again but i think a lot of that had to do with mckenzie you know uh we ended up turning the ball over five times and got the ball inside the red zone again a couple times and just couldn't get in the end zone, which has been pretty much par for the course for us this year. Um, um, but defensively, I couldn't ask for no better, man. They, our kids were playing their tails off, you know. We we uh, um, got them, you know, a couple of turn a couple of turnovers we got from them, and that was big. And uh, you know, to keep the score close, and uh, um, we just did a really good thing. A lot of good things. Coach Rashford, Wayne Rashford was my defense coordinator. He really did a great job at, uh, you know, getting those guys ready to go. And uh, so, uh, but yeah, you know, the kids competed. They they played hard. They really did. And uh, uh, you know, we didn't play very good ball at times. But in you know, I can tell by the final score. But then again, um, you couldn't ask for for a better effort from our kids. And I was very proud of that. Well, and uh, you know, you're at this situation every once in a while. It doesn't matter. Uh, you you got to go face. Uh, you got to go face Goliath somewhere down the the road. Whether they're in your region sure. or they're not in your region, you've played a Graves County. You you you've played a pretty tough schedule here on the front end of everything. Yeah, we really have. And, and mm-hmm. when and when you sit back and look at it, and then you look at the the damage your football team is probably under because there's some kids that are b- banged up and beat up a little bit and whatnot. But do you, yeah, we are. Do, yeah, do, we are sort. Do you like do you like where you are as far as a coach and trying to turn a McEwen Warrior team around and uh, and and generate some buzz in that community? Yeah, I, mean, I, I do. I mean, I, I love being home, you know, and, I, you know, like being in school, love being in school every day. And, uh, you know, but, you know, Stork, it just, I tell people, you know, when a new coach comes in, whether it's, whether it's me and or whether it's, you know, Nick Saban or what, it doesn't matter, you know. It, you know, things are not going to happen overnight, you know. I tell people, you know, the arc wasn't built overnight and, and Rome wasn't built overnight. So that's what I tell people. And I guess a lot of people think I'm a miracle worker, which, I, you know, I'm, I'm far from that. Well, we did. You know? We all so, thought uh, you were. That's the reason why we sent you over there, Coach. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but but anyway, I mean, we just got this thing that's going to take some time to get it going and, uh, uh, you know, get the kids to, to buy in on what I truly believe. And uh, if they'll do that, then we're going to be successful, Stork. And, uh we do have some good young kids coming, and uh, I got to. I have a, you know, I've only got two seniors this year, Stork. All I've got, and so um, got a kind of a heavy junior bunch, and um, freshman sophomore bunch. I got quite a few kids in that bunch as well. So, uh, um, you know, we're uh, I, and I tell people all the time, you know, when a, when a coach comes in like I did, late as I did, had not been any type of off season with him. That's where, you know, that's where a lot of old school coaches like me. You know, we got to have those kids in off season, and I got to have off season with these kids. And I think once we do that, I think we'll see, you know, big strides, you know, big strides in the program. And you know, and everybody's always looked at the wins first, you know, of a program, which you know, I understand that. But you know, there's a lot of a lot of more important things than that too, Stuart. But you know, we're if we do the, if we do the things we're supposed to do and do the right things, and kids buy in and work come to work hard every day, then we're going to get some W's. Well, and and you know you may you may pick up a one or two talented kids as as we all know, the the skill set of basketball and baseball transfers as I've learned uh, from Scott Kennedy transfers real well to football. 
uh, your football skill set mm-hmm. doesn't transfer to anything other than football. So yeah. you may you exactly. may you may exactly. end up you may end up getting uh, a, a few more skill set kids that uh, you need to play on Friday night, and you're looking for a few more of those kids because you know in order to build a program with uh, the short pool of players you have to pull from, uh, you got to have a certain amount of talent. You know, uh, they always talk about one A ball. You got to have a, you got to have about three or four guns if you really want to be good in one A yep. football. Yep. And then the rest of it kind of takes care of itself. But you know, you just, you know, the depth and then what you have. And when we talk about depth, that you just don't have mm-hmm. any. I mean, if if a guy goes no, down, you you're in, you're in deep trouble. If a guy goes down, because then you get a team that knows you might be a little light on one position. And uh, you know what Kevin Creasy likes to do to someone that's a little light, just pick on them all night long where that kid is. So you know, I mean, yeah, that that that's exactly. a tough situation to go through. But you know. It puts you in a in in you know this next game. It's going to be tough. And uh, how are you injury wise? Well, uh, you know, I probably lost my best my best athlete. He he, he was a say I actually got three singers. Uh, uh, Chris Petty. He's actually my best athlete on the team, and uh, he got hurt up at Grace County. Um, and so I think I've lost him for the year. And mm. so uh, uh, we got some guys. You know, got a shoulder. We got a couple of couple of one knee and one ankle, uh, you know, the kids are just trying to tough it out what they're doing. I appreciate that. And, you know, we just take them up and, you know, prepare them the best we can. But, yeah, we're, you know, we're, you know, it's, it's like I told somebody before we <laughs> before we faced McKenzie last week, I, you know, it looked like a mash unit, you know. So, uh, but we're a little bit better this week. And and uh, and I have one of my better kids suspended because he got kicked out at Grace County. I'll have him back this week because that will help tremendously. Uh, but, you know, we, you know, we, um, you know, can heck start. It's like I tell people, you know, if I say you don't have a lot of, well, you don't have any depth. I don't say a lot of depth. You don't have any depth in class A. And uh, like I said, you just got to, you just got to roll, with, you know, what rolls in on the yellow bus every day. And, and so, uh, but can't, can't complain about our kids' effort. It's been, been really good. And I see us can continue that, you know, Friday night. Well, you know, I was talking to Coach Guthrie, and he said that, uh, his dad knew when it was time to get out of coaching when uh, he saw his dad out there for his final game and there was two kids on the sideline with his dad. That was it. They had 13 football players at Gleason. And, wow. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, you, you start thinking about it, you know, that is the time, I think, to get out of coaching. I mean, when you, you – yeah. I mean, you know, I <laughs> yeah. mean, I think, yeah. I, think, uh, I think Coach Guthrie's dad picked – the proper time, I mean, but no, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, you, you, you got to. Sam Guthrie, good football coach. Well, uh, yeah. you know, and. Uh, yeah, Sam Guthrie, Coach Guthrie's dad was a good football coach. Yeah. Really? So, uh, yeah, and, you know, you saying that, Stork, I, I, I'll i I'll know. I'll know myself. You know, right now I'm, you know, I'm full of, you know, full of. Oh, no, I wasn't right trying to get you to retire, Coach. I just, I was just no, quoting no, no. When you were talking but about I'm, banged up I'm players like and no numbers on the sideline and you realize you only got two kids on the sideline, I mean, you're down to, yeah. you're down to very little. <laughs> so you ain't been as bad as Coach Guthrie is what I was getting ready to say. No, I, I, I tell you, well, I had a couple, of, a couple of practices this year when I first got here, Stork. We had, had two had. 19 kids at one price had 18 at one price and 19 at another and i'm going oh man what in the world am i, am I doing you know so uh, but we've got our numbers up we're up to 38 right now what we are so we're in pretty good shape well that's good that's good well you're going to take on tough one wayne county and you talked about this game and uh, this is a game that uh, McEwen and wayne county's always been a big one uh uh what's it what's it going to take to beat these guys well, they're big up front. They're physical, just like all the teams I had when I was there with them. Stork, you know, just kids. You know, you know, we was always pretty good, and that's kind of what kind of what Wayne County was known for was our linemen, offensively and defensively. Nothing different. Same type kids. They're big. They're strong. They come off. They try to mash you, and um, uh, got some got some skilled guys. Got some kids that can run a little bit, and uh, you know, I tell you what impressed me about them defensively. Is they got some linebackers that get downhill to the football, and uh, you know that, that's what's really impressed me about these kids. They're not very big; they're kind of small, but man, they are quick and they can get to the football. I've been most impressed with them, you know, by you know from a defense standpoint at linebacker. 
And so, uh, but you know, they're good in the D line as well. So uh, it'll be a typical Wayne County team. You know, they'll come in try to try to mash you like like we used to do when I was there, and uh, nothing's really changed. And uh, and we'll have to play. We can't turn it over five times, or we end up the same same boat like we did against McKenzie. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we got to take care of the ball. But yeah, it'd be it'd be a tough one. You know, you know, we got the dreaded homecoming. You know, that's what every coach loves, and uh, you know. Love to have his homecoming, and I sure in the heck didn't want to have it for Wayne County, but it was already set when I got here. So, uh, anyway, I just hope the kids do remember we do have a football game to play So uh, <laughs> instead of worrying about all the other stuff. Well, and, and let's close it out a little bit with that. You know, any uh, any any kudos out to the faculty staff and members uh, because you had a home game last Friday night, got a big one this Friday night. Uh, it's, it's still, uh, it's still mm-hmm. a moment for the kids there at, uh, at McEwen. It is, it is, and you know we have a, you know, um, and when I was, you know, when I was at Wayne County, we had a homecoming. We had a lot of people that would actually come back for, for that for homecoming, and uh, you know have you know have classes that you know that that had like their, like their twentieth or thirtieth, uh, you know graduate, you know graduates, you know thirty year reunion. reunion. Yeah, uh, they would have them at football games. Yeah, they would have it there. They'd meet at the football game what they were on Friday nights, and that you know they do the same thing here at McEwen. So. Uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be a neat thing, and uh, it's good to see people come home. And I'm hoping that we'll put a good product on the field for everybody to enjoy watching Friday. Well, Coach, good luck Friday night, and we wish you the best of luck. And we will not have a show next week, but we'll be on the air, and, and I'll talk to you in about 14 days. All right, man. Good talking to you, Stork. Appreciate Thank you. you. All righty. See you. Bye.